to the dual sports on the trail to your right. What's going on, Swiggy Cats? Jerry and I are back out. Uh, he cooked up the crappies and uh, bluegill or something like that uh, that we caught uh, the night before and a little bit today as well. I guess we can see what this looks like. It looks more like a road, but... Huh. Not, not, not what I was looking for. <laughs> Whoa, why are we in neutral all of a sudden? That is not... Whoa, right into the sand. Slow it down. And then go again. There we go. Just like that. I don't know where the heck this is going to end up. This is like the bitter something, bittersweet natural lakes, natural area or something like that. So actually this might be kind of a neat path out to some of the little uh, really remote lakes out here. So that'd be kind of neat. The grass wasn't in the middle. This would really pretty much just look like Harrison Hills. So I don't know why I have it in my head that we needed to be in a more remote trail than this. I don't know. This, uh, this looks pretty woodsy to me. I don't know. I guess just the fact that you can like take a vehicle down it and that it has a road name to it, I think. I mean, you know what though? I bet it doesn't. But I don't know. Whatever it's like that, for some reason for me, if it's if a vehicle can drive down it, you know, a normal sized car or whatever, you know, not easily necessarily, but if a car can get down it for some reason, it's like, oh, well, that's, that's not as much fun. <laughs> I want to be in a place that a vehicle can't come down. But I don't know. Stuff like this is nice though, too. There's nothing wrong with that. Ooh, look at that. And we got a little lake there. That's cool. This reminds me kind of on the uh, underdown area just south of uh, Merrill. Is Jerry coming? I, I see his halogen glow back there. Oh, and and that's uh, that's what I meant about a, about a car, I guess. <laughs> There's one right there. That's kind of weird. Okay. See, that's why you see something like that, and then it's like, oh. <laughs> Here I thought I was, you know, traveling in the back country here and uh, there's a Buick sitting there. So then you don't feel so adventurous. And it looks like we're coming out to some of the waters here. What do we got? This is probably where we should have been fishing this weekend. Everybody's out here. Look at that. And somebody left their canoe here and a crappy old trailer. Okay. Oh my gosh. Everybody's out here. What is going on here? I wonder if these people are like camped out here somewhere? That there's like remote campsites maybe? Because I don't know why there's so many other so many cars otherwise. Doesn't look like anybody has kayaks. I guess the trucks could. No, they got a trailer. All right, boys, we end up back on the logging trail here. I think this is actually probably the way that uh, Big Dog and I came out uh, a couple videos ago. I'm not sure what Jerry's going to think of all the mud here. Apparently he doesn't care. I guess we're going to keep going. Ooh, that does look like some greasy shit. <laughs> You just gotta keep momentum up, that always helps. Oh yeah, and this is some sandy shit. Son of a bitch. It's always better to stand up through that, even though it's scary. You gotta come down all the way to the ground then, but uh, eh, it does definitely help a lot. You don't feel uh, feel the bike moving around so much, and then you don't fight it as much, and you just kinda stay loose and try not to gorilla grip it, and then you're usually okay. Man, them lights are bright. <whistles> Cyclops LED B15s, boys. But you can Move them side to side of the bars. It's kind of cool, especially with a KLR having a fixed headlight like that. And the uh, the mount that I've got them on is the Denali something or other. I think it's a twisted throttle product, and it's expensive, but man, it is heavy duty. I could not believe <laughs> the thick gauge material that they made that out of. So it's, it's like I think it's like 80 bucks, which it's that's kind of a lot. Uh, not that the <laughs> The LEDs that I have on here are uh, anywhere near any bit cheaper than that at all. They're much more expensive, and they're they're definitely worth the worth the price, I think. But uh, anyhow, the uh, the bracket is uh, is a pretty high quality deal. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. 80 bucks seemed like kind of a lot, and nah, I guess it kind of still does. It is a piece of metal, but even still, it's uh, it is a good quality product. You're not going to get it and get it in your hand and think, wow, this is cheap, because it definitely does not feel that way at all. It is nice and sturdy. And there's a pain in the butt to install, just trying to get all the spacers in there, but eh, once you get it in there, it's, uh, it's definitely nice to have. And really the whole hardest part of that whole process was really just finding out where I was going to run the wires and that sort of thing. And I pretty much ran it where the, uh -oh, where the uh, stock wire, uh, wire harnesses ran from where the battery area, battery area is uh, all the way up into the front. After I got that all figured out, and uh, it really wasn't too bad after that. I just got it, whoa, zip tied all in the right spot. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, man, I, <laughs> after riding that bike the other night, I really have got to give him some credit. I suppose I should turn my high beams off so I'm not blinding him. 
Uh, I gotta give him some credit. Uh, I can't believe some of the stuff he takes that through. I mean, that bike, like I said, uh, if you guys watch that video where I ride the, the 800 XC Tiger, uh, it really does a lot better than I would think it would. Um, and it's just kind of weird compared to the KLR as far as like the throttle response and stuff. Uh, and just the power band and the, and the overall feel of the motor too. But I... <laughs> You get into some stuff where you got to put your feet down, and I complain about this bike being too tall and too heavy. Holy man, that thing is a beast when you uh, when you get into tight terrain and you're having to having to put your feet down and keep yourself up and that sort of thing. That's <laughs> it is a workout in itself, I tell you. Uh, I don't know if this is where we wanted to go. I feel like it was not. No, I don't. Uh, I don't think it was. If we keep going, we can make it all the way through. And I'm not sure that's the direction that we are headed. Now we feel better about standing up through puddles, but then I get my little boots wet, and then I got cold feet on the way home. I shouldn't say that, though. These probably keep the water out good enough. Shouldn't have to worry about it. I'm such a wuss. I ain't get my little shoes dirty, oh no. Yeah, this is not the way that we were uh, on yesterday. So I don't know where this is going to take us. It's a new adventure, boys. There's a little lake down there. Or some body of water, anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yep, that went inside my pants. Son of a gun. Yeah, it's a lot nicer to stand up because you don't, uh, you know, feel the bike squirrel around on you. But then, uh, then you get your, fan your pants, your pants, you get your pants wet. No good. I'm gonna have a cold leg on the way home. You really need to come out here on the bikes and camp some night. That would be cool. I don't know if I'd really want to come back here with a bunch of like, gear strapped to the back, though. I should really start practicing doing that if I ever want it. If I ever want to go camping on the bike. Woo! This is the easy way to camp. You just uh, let your let your paw rent the cabin and then drive up here, and then everybody can haul your stuff in you, stuff in you, and then whoa, and then have your uh, stuff hauled up by your brother in the truck. <laughs> Makes it much easier. And then when you get done riding, you just go home and uh, sleep in a nice warm bed and take a shower if you want to. <laughs> just something about camping though that is just kind of neat. I don't know. This is cool, and I I like doing that. And I hope someday we uh, our family owns a cabin. But for now, it's, uh, whoa, it's nice to be able to rent one and come up here at least once a year. Yeah, boy, I hope he knows we're not going to be able to go all the way through on here. At least I don't think we're going to be able to. <laughs> he tells me, whoa, shit. He tells me when we leave the house that he doesn't want to go through any mud or anything. And then <laughs> he's out front and we're just doing uh, more, more mud than I uh, ever would have expected that we would. Being said that he said he didn't want to do any mudding, but oh, well, that's all right. Yeah, he's going to want to turn around now. Probably a good idea. Oh shit! I'm gonna try to pull my pants down far enough so it's not wet on my leg. I'll make it, I think. Why do I not remember riding through this? Thank you, cat. So we are headed on our way back out and back to the cabin, and then uh, tomorrow we'll be headed on home. So video after this will be uh, just probably around home somewhere, or maybe uh, maybe Harrison Hills. I guess we'll have to see, or some other place like that. Maybe the Langley Trails. Whew. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a like. That always helps me out. If you have something to say, leave it in a comment box down below there. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you like to see more videos like this, then make sure and hit that subscribe button. I put out a video every Monday. So we'll be looking forward to that. And uh, until then, you guys just stay safe and stay swanky. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Oh, I always say it too soon. Stay swanky! This is not a swanky cat production.